Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, your unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Later in the programme, we're in Spain to see how historic weather records can give powerful new insights into climate change today. But first, the very latest from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. We all lived through it and we all know how it was unusually warm at certain periods throughout 2019. Well now the data is out and scientists can say that in Europe in 2019 it was the warmest year on record with temperatures over 1.2 degrees centigrade above the 1981 to 2010 average. The summer heat wave saw national temperature records being broken across Western Europe. We saw 38.7 degrees in the UK. We saw 42.6 degrees in Germany and 46 degrees in southern France with temperature records also in Luxembourg Belgium and the Netherlands. Now if we zoom out and look at the whole planet we can see here that it was the second warmest year on average. All of these zones here in red experienced warmer than average temperatures in 2019. Up here in Canada it was cooler than average and up here at the top you can see in darker red one of the key climate trends we often talk about. It was much warmer in Alaska and the Arctic. What does that mean for the decade moving forward? What does it mean for our future? Well, I put that question to Professor Peter Thorne of Maynooth University in Ireland. The warmer years are getting warmer. The cooler years are also getting warmer. So everything is shifting. And there are interesting pieces of research, for example, showing that what was maybe typical in the early 2000s will be considered cold in the 2030s, the 2050s and what was considered abnormally warm will be considered normal on that kind of time scale. So everything is creeping slowly but surely upwards. All of the trends that we report on Climate Now are based on data collected by sophisticated digital devices, including satellites. But you can also gain fascinating insights into climate change by digging into historical archives. And I went to Spain to meet some scientists who've been doing just that. The Observatory de Lebre was founded in 1904 and holds a highly valuable archive of weather data, even for periods when this hilltop was on the front line of the Spanish Civil War. Guardian of the archive is Germán Soleil. So, Jeremy, we try to make the series as complete as possible. Here we can see, for example, the temperature variation during a critical period, the end of 1937 and the beginning of 1938, when the Civil War was in our area and the bombarding was taking place all around the observatory. Scientist Pere Quintana Segui's analysis of the records shows that the same amount of rain now falls, but the dry spells are longer. What we see is that the number of consecutive dry days in summer is lengthening, therefore the dry spells are getting longer and longer. It's as if summer is pushing spring and autumn and getting longer. The records also reveal that extreme events like heat waves are now more frequent than a century ago. Before, you could have moments of extremes, but that doesn't mean that the climate then was the same as now. That's the kind of thing you hear from people like my father. Yes, you see, this kind of thing happened before. Yes, beforehand it happened every 25 years. Now it happens every five years. Climatologist Manola Brunet leads a series of efforts to recover historic weather data, which is common in Europe, but not necessarily elsewhere. In African countries, South America, Southeast Asia, or the Pacific, just to name a few, even current information is not transmitted in real time. So that means that for a good portion of the planet, we lack information that allows us to establish adaptation strategies to the impacts of the climate change that we're already facing. Well, you can find out more about how historical weather archives help us to understand climate change and have a look at all of the data presented in this program on our website, euronews.com slash climate now. I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.